hi guys i am rishit cha and in this video today i am going to explain you how you can take backup of your tally data and restore the same backup because if you do not know how to restore your backup then why you should take backup in the first place it is as good as that you do not have taken up the backup so i will explain you whole backup restore process plus i will explain you some other methods of sending your backup to your friends or to your colleagues via email pen drive and such also i will explain you one fantastic method of taking your backup or automatically taking up your backup 24/7 yes 24 hours 7 days 365 days whole year entire time the only condition is that you should have internet connection and the backup will be taken up automatically every hour or every 20 30 minutes as you set as per your settings so let's look at the backup process in tally and we'll move forward so i have also created a post for this video before creating this video so we will go according to that post because i have also written the entire process in that post with pictures so if uh, you want to see the post or you want to go through the writings that is the article you can go here and check it i'll link it down in the description and you can also download the pdf uh, from here so what you have to what we will do is we will go by this points because this process is a bit long and i would like to go point wise so you can also understand in a better way so first we will see how you can take tally data backup in tally erp9 and let's go in tally so i am in my company tally school and i am at the gateway of tally so what you have to do is from here you have to go to the company info menu or company info option which you can go by pressing alt plus f3 or just clicking here then you have to go and select the backup option here and beside that there is a restore option as well so we will go into the restore option as well but first now check up check the backup option so press enter and you will be in the backup uh, menu or backup companies at disk screen so first we will see this uh, that is a uh, source and destination so source is the location at which your all data files or tally files are saved currently so whatever you do in tally by default it is saved here the address may be different in your computer let me show you the address which is most probably will be in your computer or in your tally will be c users public tally erp9 data so this address will be in your computer because this is the default and most people do not change the default address so this is the default and uh, one more thing i want to add is all the companies in tally are saved by company numbers they have specific company numbers or company codes which start from 10000 10001 10002 10, you can find this all information in this post so i recommend you visit this post also because whatever i am going to explain in video some little little gems like this you can find in this post as well so this are saved by the company numbers along with the company names that we give and you can find that all your companies in a data folder which generally we call data folder because all your companies are saved in that folder you can find that folder at the location of your company so generally the location is c users public tally erp9 and then data in data folder you will find this codes which are 10000 10001 10004 so these are the same codes which are here so you can identify your company with the codes and these in this folders there all the company files related files are saved so this is how the company files in tally are saved and your location will be most probably will be see users public tally erp9 data because that is where all the files of tally are generally saved by default so now what we will do is we will just press enter because i have changed the source location 
to Google Drive, which I will explain later in this video why I have changed that and why it is good to change that uh, in the section of automatic backup 24 7, which I have uh, which I have talked about in the beginning of the video. So I'll just press enter and the destination. So destination is the place where our backup files will be saved. So source is the current place at which our files of tally are saved and destination is the place where our backup will be saved. I recommend you keep the source and destination both different because what happens is if for any reason a virus enters your computer the generally the virus works is they'll affect certain drives that is a very basic level of virus and of course if the virus is of greater intensity it can affect all your computer but for safety some viruses only affect certain drives so what we can do is if for any reason the virus affects the destination drive we can clear up uh, we can be sure that our main files are safe and if the virus affects the c drive which happens in many cases i it has happened to me as well when i was in school so what you can do is what you can do is uh, just take the backup from the destination and you will have all your files so that's why it is very essential and i highly recommend to keep your source and destination locations different and press enter and you will see the company that is tally school and with its number 10000 so you will see all the list of your companies here which are present in your tally right now and you can take the backup of the selected companies or all the companies if you want to take the backup of all companies you can just select all items or if you want to take the backup of just certain companies just go ahead and select certain companies which you want to take the backup so i'll press enter and then press enter again on the end of the list which is here and tally will ask me to accept yes or no so if i press enter once again i will generally the backup will have should have been taken at this point but i have already taken up the backup so tally has asked me if you want to overwrite the file and if i want to overwrite my backup i can do so so i'll just press enter and overwrite it so i have taken up the backup my backup is successfully taken so now what we will do is we will see how you can restore the entire backup that we have just taken so the process of restoring the backup is also same so i'll go into company info then i'll go to the restore option under the backup option and you will see i have backed up two companies there is gst composition and tally school so what we will do is we'll just restore one company tally school and press okay we'll restore both the companies so i'll select all items and you can see here destination and source as well so let me just go back you can see the destination and source both are changed in when we were trying to back up the destination was d and the source was c now the destination is c because we are taking the backup from d which is our source so i'll select all the items and press enter so again tally will ask me company number 10,000 already exists do you want to overwrite so if you have the same number of company that is same numbered company then tally will ask to overwrite so i'll press yes and press enter so certain error has occurred in tally this generally do not happen but okay we'll press ctrl plus w and i am in my tally school company now we'll select the first option uh, that is select company and we can see tally school as well as gst composition company present here so if we go in the gst composition we can see the gst composition company also so this is how you can restore your data in tally now again let me just go to tally school company okay let me shut that and go to tally school so i am in tally school the way you know that you are in a tally school company is that you will see the name here name of the company 
in the list of the selected companies option so i am again in the tally school company and we have successfully backed up our data also we have uh, restored one more company along with tally school if you rewind the video at the beginning of the video i have showed you that there was only one company in the list of companies that was on the disk when we went the company info and when we went to the backup option and here only tally school was there before restoring the companies now you can see two companies here so this is how you can take the backup and restore the company now let's move forward according to our points uh, which is automatically tally automatically take the tally data backup 24 7 step by step process so let's go step by step only and i've written everything backup restore with pictures and instructions if you want to read if you are that kind of guy or if you just want to read so automatically tally automatic tally data backup 24 7 step by step process now before i show you the exact process let me just uh, tell you what i am doing here and how automatic data backup works now we all have a google account right and we are all are using google drive even if you are not using google account you must have a microsoft account microsoft email account for which we can use onedrive or you must might be using dropbox or some other kind of online cloud service where we save the data online generally most of the people including me we use google drive so what we will do is we will download the google drive onto our computer there is an option I'll link the I'll link it below how you can download Google Drive on your computer. What it will what happens is when we download Google Drive on our computer, the files that are on online on Google Drive, all that files appear in our computer. And whatever the files that are in that Google Drive folder on our computer, that happens to be online. So it is synced. The data on our Google Drive, which is online, is in sync. Or synchronized with the data or the information that we have in on our computer I'll just show you that in my Google Drive folder so just so here is my Google Drive folder and you can see the companies which we have uh, which the location here is in tally so let me just uh, go to select company option and you can see the path is C users admin Google Drive where which our companies are located or stored and in the google drive folder you can see 10,000 and 10,004 which are the company numbers in tally you can also see that 10,004 and 10,000 so this is where all our data is saved and this is the google drive folder this is for this folder will also be created in your computer once you install google drive on your computer and you can see here the click right here which means that this file is updated on Google Drive online as well so when you whenever you see the right tick folder here green color that means all the files are updated on the Google Drive as well so what we will do is we will change our path I've already changed that path the location of our tally files from the public folder or see users public tally rp9 folder to this folder and what will happen is if you have an internet connection on google will automatically update your files every hour or every 30 minutes as per your settings so you don't have to worry about backups suppose your files are suppose your computer is getting a virus or anything then you can always find your files on google drive online as well so even if you want to open all your files in a different computer but you forgot to take the backup then you can just log into your google account download these files and then open up that in tally i'll show you this is one of the steps of sending backup to your friend or colleague which we'll discuss later in this video so right now i'll show you how you can change your path to this instead of uh, by default tally will set your data path to see users public tally rp9 data so this is the data folder path we will change that path to this by default so what we have to do is we have to again go into the we have to go to the configure option here 
then we have to go to data configuration so here is the data configuration option press enter and the data configuration screen will open up so the first option is location of the data files so you have to change this location just change this location to google drive how you can get this location i'll show you just i am in the my google drive folder whenever uh, when you are in your google drive folder you see this uh, address bar we call it address bar and just click on in the clear space here and you can see your whole path now one of the shortcomings of tally is that you cannot copy anything by just like con copy and you cannot paste in tally let me show you there is no option so what you have to do is this time you have to just click on this and type the exact same address in tally by hand so this is one of the shortcomings of tally that you cannot copy anything from outside into the tally or from tally to anywhere you cannot even select anything so if i try to select it will select the options but as we can select like this we cannot we cannot select like this in tally as well so that is one of the shortcomings but the very few shortcomings are there in tally so you have to just copy the entire path in a tally here let me just go back so in tally here you have to copy the oh sorry write the entire path and then uh, once you have done it you can just uh, go ahead and save it or press ctrl plus a to save it or just press enter enter few times and it will save it note that the application has to be restarted for the changes to apply so when you will save it tally will close up automatically and then open up automatically by itself and then changes will be applied then you can check your google drive folder and it will have the files like this it might not have the right tick here or uh, because the files might not be uploaded online but once it is uploaded online and it will have a right ticket the size of the folder whole folder is 111 kb you can see here so it is not much size it will upload it will be uploaded instantly and that's it you can now automatically backup all your tally data online which is very good you don't have to go to the backup steps which we have done in the beginning of the video you can just directly take the backup you can just change this uh, location to google drive and install google drive on your computer that's it now your data will be backed up automatically 24 7 without you even doing anything i think there is fantastic way to back up all your tele files so this is how automatic backup and tally works now we will move to another point which is how to send tally backup through email or pen drive three ways so as you saw the size of this uh, folder is 111 kb and this folder is 377 kb so it is not even 1 mb but if your company is big if you have done lots of transactions it might be possible that your folder can be 10 20 30 mbs but that is good if we can send them by email as well so i'll show you what are the steps or what are the different types through which you can send this backup folders via email or pen drive or any external device hard disk any external device to your friend to your colleague to anyone whom you want to even to your chartered accountant or to your accountant you can send that so what uh, we have to do is there are three different types first is sharing the link of the google drive folder so when you are in your google drive online let me just show you what it looks like so so you can see here 1000 and 1004 so this is i'm online on the google drive and what we can do here is we can just select these folders i've selected both the folders by pressing ctrl you can just select both the folders by selecting like this and right click and then share so as soon as you click on share uh, you will get 
a specified email address to whom which you want to share the link so you can write in the email address and done and the person with the email address will get the email with the shareable shared link and then you can download or view these files online or uh, one other option is you can get click on advanced here and you will see all the advanced options you can get a link here which is sharing so you can just right click and copy this link and then send it to email or whatsapp or anything you want to and that person can download via this link so this is how you share online your backup i'll not do it here so i'll not share it here okay done so i've not shared it with anyone because i don't want to share so this is how you can share the link to anyone who is interested in or who you want to send your backup files to so this is how sharing link to the google drive folder another option is create a zip file of the backups and then send them so we have already done the backup online on google drive so these are the folders in our computer as well so what we can do is select both the folders and then create a zip file add to archive and then you know you can easily send the zip files to anyone via email it is very easy now let's see that one more option send the data folder itself so another way is we can create a zip file of the data folder itself and then send it to anyone so i have changed the sorry i have changed the location to google drive but again if i want i can create a data folder as we have created and then create a zip file of that data folder so all the companies will be selected and then i'll send that data folder zip file of the data folder to anyone via pen drive or via email if your file is too big to be sent via email what you can do is create a zip file of your folder then upload it to google drive and then share the link again the same process so this is how you can send your backup to anyone who you want and you can also select the companies that you want to send the backup the best option from all the three i feel is the sharing link on the google drive folder because that way you do not have to send any files to anyone that is good part because if for example by mistake you send to different person or by entering a wrong email or anything happens then all your files will be available to another person and this is very sensitive business data you don't want to happen that so that cannot happen unless you share the link to that person so you just have to share the link and say for example you shared the link to someone and after sending the email you came to know that you have sent the email to a wrong person so you can immediately turn off the sharing in google drive of that folder so that is also a good option you can turn off the sharing again if you send your link or shared link of google drive folder to anyone your data files tally data files link to anyone then say you to your accountant you send all your data files link which are saved on the google drive to your accountant now accountant has done his work after 10 days and he has said that all my work is done your return is filed and everything is okay so you can then after 10 days turn off the sharing so he won't be able to access those files any more so this is how this is why this option i feel is the best and you don't have to create a zip file or anything like that so that also saves time now the last and the best way to get this data or information or this post is download pdf so if you come to this post backup and restore in tally which i link in the description you if you come down to the after this uh, how to send tally data backup through email or pen drive you will see a blue button and there is no uh, sharing or like that you just press on the blue button and a link and a page will open up on the right hand side and i have uploaded this uh, pdf file post this pdf file of the entire post here online again i want to say that this i have saved online on google drive and then shared the link create a shareable link and then put the link here so you can come here and download that so this is how 
that google drive works which is very easy you can download the pdf for your future use so even if you do not have the internet connection you know how you can back up and restore everything that is in the post it is here i'll have also linked down the video link of this video which you can click on here in this photo and it will redirect you to the video which i am currently recording so this is how you can get the entire pdf of this post so if you want to the P if you want to get the pdf come to this post this is the link i'll link it down in the description on youtube and then come here and download it so this is it for today in this video and if you like the video you can join tally school and start learning tally with gst for free i have a seven day or eight day course with basic course in which i'll explain you everything basics of tally along with gst you will learn much more about tally by joining this course and that is a guarantee i'm giving you you have not i am getting daily messages of thank you and this was good this was very good thank you for helping us every day from people like you so just join tally school here or uh, go to the home page let me show you how you can join tally school go to the home page of tally school website tallyschool.com and click here start your free tally course now and just join here enter your email and join tally school you'll be getting daily two lessons via email and then after seven or eight days when you complete the course you can take a basic test and if you pass the test you can get the certificate by paying a nominal fee so this is it for this video you know how you can take the backup of your tally data restore it you can you also know how you can take automatically 24 7 backup and you do not have to do anything just set up the process and automatically the backup will happen you also now know how you can send tally backups through email or pen drive three different ways and you can you already know how you can download the pdf so thank you for watching this video and if you have watched till here you are uh, very hungry for the knowledge and i i am just <laughs> i have no words to for your hunger for knowledge because most people don't uh, don't come here till this in till this point in the videos so thank you for watching once again and subscribe to tally school if you have not yet subscribed because you'll get a regular videos daily 9 a.m and 5 p.m daily two videos so subscribe to tally school to get your dose or knowledge of tally daily two times 9 a.m 5 p.m thank you for watching